Hey everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to create and use navigation menus in WordPress. Support for navigation menus was introduced in WordPress 3.0, which was released in June of 2010, that is over 10 years ago. Even so, there are many WordPress users that still don't know how to use this feature to its full extent. Ready to get started? Let's go! For this tutorial I will be using the Milton theme a premium theme available for purchase on academiathemes.com. I chose this theme because it has everything I will need for this tutorial. First, let's look at our website, which already has some sample content for a museum website. The header of this theme lets us easily display a primary and a secondary navigation menu. The secondary menu usually contains just a few links arranged in a single line. The primary menu is usually much larger and can contain multi-level menus, which are usually drop-down menus like the one you see now. So let's create a new navigation menu that will have multiple levels. To do that, let's go to our dashboard and then open the menus page in the appearance section. Now let's create a new menu with a couple of links in it. Click the create a new menu link. Choose a menu name that would explain the purpose or the contents of it. For example, let's call it the primary menu. Press the create menu button. Now we can start adding links to it. On the left side we have the add menu items section. Here we can see what pages we have on our website, our blog posts, categories and a form to add custom links. I'll get to them a little later in this video. Let's add some of our pages to the menu. Select the Pages tab and click View All. The first menu item will always be the Home item. This will link to your home page. Now let's select a few more pages and then click the Add to Menu button. Now we can see our new menu structure on the right. WordPress will try to order the new elements in alphabetical order so you might want to change the order a little bit. To do that, simply drag and drop your links. Now that you're happy with the initial menu structure, let's display it on the website. At the bottom of this page, there is an area called Menu Settings. This area will show you all navigation menu locations that were coded in your current WordPress theme. Some themes will have one location, two, three or even more. This theme has three locations. Main menu, secondary menu and footer menu. While we are editing our primary menu, let's set it to be displayed in the main menu location. Check the checkbox at the bottom and press the save menu button. Back on our website we can see our menu. Now let's add a drop down section. While dragging and dropping your menu items, you might have noticed the dashed line that appears under the item. Just by looking at the position of this dotted line, we can have a menu item to be top level or to be nested under the item above it. Let's nest the event calendar page under the what's on page. Just drag and drop it below the what's on item, but make sure that the dashed line appears to the right. Save the menu and let's look at our website. And there you have it. Now let me explain a few more things about the way navigation menus work in WordPress. You can add navigation menus to the sidebar or any other widgetized area by using a standard navigation menu widget. Your theme could have some built-in styling for such menus, like Milton does. Here's how to do it. Go to the Appearance Widgets page, find the Navigation Menu widget and drop it in your widgetized area of choice. In my case, it is the sidebar primary. Expand the widgets options, add a title if you want, and choose which custom menu should be displayed. Let's use our primary menu again. Looking at the website, we can see a stylish menu in the sidebar. The custom link section is usually used to add external links, for example a link to your Facebook page. Just paste the URL, the link text and add this item to the menu. You might have noticed that the home link is considered a custom link and not a page link. Another thing to remember 
is that you can edit the link text for any menu item. Just click the downwards arrow next to the item and change the navigation label. You can also make your menu links open in a new tab, add optional CSS classes and so on. To do that, you will have to look at the top right corner of this menus page. Click the screen options link. A new container will slide out with a list of checkboxes for advanced menu properties. Enable the settings that you might need. Now you can set your menu items to open in a new tab, add optional CSS classes and you can add a link relationship property such as nofollow, sponsored, UGC, etc. If you have multiple classes or link relationship values, separate them by a space. Another thing to know is this. Your menu structure doesn't have to be identical to your content structure. For example, the event calendar is a top page. It is not a child page of a what's on page. But in the menu, I can nest anything I want anywhere I want. For example, I could nest all these menu items under the home custom link or any other link. The website will continue working as usual. This will not affect the URL structure of your pages. If your website uses custom post types and you would like to add them to the menu, make sure to enable them in the screen options panel. And finally, a very important thing to remember. The active WordPress theme can restrict the appearance of a navigation menu. It is a common practice to restrict menus in some locations to display just the top level items. For example, if we set our primary menu to be displayed both in the main menu and the footer menu locations, we can see that a drop-down effect is available only in the main menu. The footer displays only top-level items. So you should not expect to have a drop-down feature available in every theme and in every menu location. If you liked this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel for more tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.